So hi everyone. In this video, we're going to uh, use uh, something called Roy's identity. And Roy's identity is a way to recover or to derive the Marshall and demand functions from the indirect utility function. And the way that we do that is we use the identity uh, specified as say, uh, that's xi star. So this corresponds to some Marshallian that's equal to negative of the partial of the indirect utility function with respect to a particular goods price. So say it's good one, then we derive it with respect to P1 all over the derivative okay, of that uh, indirect utility function with respect to income, that's M. Okay, so this is our form for Roy's identity. Okay, so this is the form that we're going to be following. Now, so suppose, okay, suppose, okay, we want to derive, uh, we want uh, x1 star. So we are calculating for the Marshall and demand for x1 star. So first step, we need to first calculate the first order partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to P1. Why P1? Because we're computing for X1 star and that's its own price. So uh, if we use this form here, so this is easier to derive, okay? So we, we derive it now with respect to P1. We're gonna be getting a negative alpha, okay? M uh, alpha raised to alpha, okay? P1 raised to negative alpha minus one, okay, one minus alpha times one minus alpha, P2 raised to alpha minus one, okay. So notice, uh, as you can see, uh, this derivative, derivative indirectly also tries to answer something in that if prices increase, say price, the price of good one increase, what would happen to the indirect utility function? Well, we know that the indirect utility function, again, is some measure of utility. So if prices increase, uh, we see that since the sign here is negative, since this is negative alpha times everything here that's positive, we can see that uh, there is a negative relationship between uh, price increases and the value of utility, which is to be expected, of course. Then say we want to derive now, so we need the denominator, so that's the, the, the first order partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to income. Okay, so that's going to be equal to, um, that's going to be equal to, so derivative of this with respect to m, that's just alpha raised to alpha, p1 negative alpha, 1 minus alpha raised to 1 minus alpha, p2 alpha minus 1. Okay, so we have those two forms there. What we can do is we can now uh, plug it both of these into the formula to compute x1 star. So if you recall um, x1 star, we already know that, okay? That's x1 star, that's gonna be equal to alpha m over p1. So we wanna prove that this is indeed the case. So following the formula, x1 uh, star, that's equal to negative of uh, negative alpha m, alpha raised to alpha p1 negative alpha minus 1 um, 1 minus alpha raised to 1 minus alpha p2 alpha minus 1 okay all over um, alpha raised to alpha p1 negative alpha 1 minus alpha raised to 1 minus alpha p2 raised to alpha minus 1 okay so let's simplify this so we have a negative sign here and a negative sign so this can cancel out we see that this term, 1 minus alpha raised to 1 minus alpha, we have that both in the numerator and the denominator. We can cancel that out. Then we also have a term that's uh, P2 raised to alpha minus 1 in the denominator and the denominator. So we can just cancel that out. So we're going to be left with this. So that's um, alpha M raised to alpha raised to alpha P1 negative alpha minus 1 all over alpha raised to alpha p1 negative alpha. Well, what you can see is we have both an alpha raised to alpha, so we can cancel that out. Then uh, what we can do is we can uh, simplify this by putting p1 in the denominator. So we have alpha m all over p1 raised to negative alpha. Then we have p1 raised to alpha, okay, uh, alpha plus one, okay? So if we combine this one, that's alpha m, all over p1 negative alpha plus alpha plus one, K, 
okay that's gonna cancel out and we're gonna be left with alpha m all over p1 which is indeed equal to the Marshallian demand function that we had computed for previously so it's a, essentially a way to check back and notice if you did the correct solution for the Marshallian demand so this identity should hold and that's Roy's identity